Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here, bringing you my November budget plan a little late. Uh, I actually already got paid on the second, but here it is. Uh, I have gotten a couple of comments about um, changing it up so that you guys can better see it or better understand it, and I am completely with you. I, I don't mind if you tell me that kind of stuff. I really don't. Uh, I believe that I could better improve it. This is just the way I've been doing it for like three years on my own because it's something that I can understand and follow. But give me ideas, please guys, please give me ideas of what I can do for you guys to better um, see this or follow along. My computer is not really up to standards right now to do like screen casting, but if I could get my computer or another computer up to those standards, maybe I could just screen uh, like screencast my every dollar um, because I could go online and I can actually go over the numbers with you there and maybe just stick with every dollar for purposes of showing you guys um, and then just do this on my own because I still probably would keep this just for my own stuff my own records but um, if I can't get the screencasting up I do want to hear your ideas of what I could do because it, as pointed out too it's kind of small I mean you can't really see the numbers well and I sometimes have atrocious handwriting but maybe there's some other paper method I could do that might show you guys what I'm doing I don't know um, I want to hear some things it's a hard habit to break like I said it's been like three or four years I've been doing this method just for my own bank keeping records because I thought I used to budget but I was just budgeting by this but I wasn't actually giving every dollar a name anyways so this is the way I'm used to, but I am totally on board with the fact that I could change it up because I want you guys to see this process along with me and see what I'm doing and actually like be able to see it and um, know because I'm sharing with you my personal budget. All these numbers are real and I want you guys to see it because I know some of you are interested in that. Um, so please, please leave comments below if, if you have ideas. Um, I'm totally not against it at all. So let's go in here. Let's go ahead and build. I always put my bills over here, household bills here, just in one of the spots that isn't the actual month itself. So I'm just going to start filling this in with my own bills and when they are due. So we have insurance here, 105, that's car insurance. My Discover discover is $85 minimum and then my credit union loan is $9408 now I'm gonna put in usually I would write in what, what my snowball is but I really want to pay it off this month because it's only 330 and usually my snowball is 240 plus an extra 50 I usually try to strive for that for my snowball. So usually I pay uh, $290 on the credit union loan. I want to put $330 in there because I really want to make, it's about $330 and some change, but I really want to pay that off and that's all that I really have left. So it's only $40 above $290. I'm going to write that in. But I also have the minimum payment there just in case. On the 21st is Fed Loans and that is a minimum, that's my student loans of 130 I still have care credit on here even though I paid that off so it's zero and then I have the visa which I paid off which is zero mark that out my phone is this last month it went up to 99.34 so I'll put that and capital one cap one uh, the minimum went from 105 to 100. Uh, if it stays that way this month, of course, it might go back up to 105. Now, for the household bills, because I pay it out of my account and my boyfriend pays me back his half, so I always put the amounts over here. CenturyLink on the 28th or so, rent on the 1st. Rent is 850 every month, so I know that. The 14th or so is electric as well as the city is around that time too. And then I have insurance on this side and this is my health insurance. 
it's 200 my boyfriend pays 50 so I have to essentially pay him back 150 so what I do is I add up all these bills divide it in half he owes me that amount minus 150 so that I could put it back in my account to pay for his half of the bills and I've, I've paid him back that 150 because he's taken it off of what he owes me. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> so everything here, do you see all these, like the 14th, 14th, 6th and 8th actually means that it's due in December, but it is budgeted into the previous month because of where things fall and those bills are essentially November bills, so I want to include it with November. These bills are, depending on when my pay period lands, are sometimes before the first pay period. So I always make sure these are paid before the end of the month. So it's this month's bill, even though it's due in December. And that is pretty much that. I'm going to put over here, I do have some special thing uh, I want to do. Operation Christmas Child. I think that's what it is. And I'm going to budget uh, $30 for that. Um, I think we have to include, I think it was like seven or nine dollars or something like that for the shipping for the shoe box. And then so like $21 after that, I don't know, maybe I'll have to budget some more. I'm gonna try to just do one though. Me and my mom are gonna go shopping for our uh, shoe boxes together. So we'll figure out some things and we'll try to do it budget friendly but I'm including that in November's budget. And then my goals for this month, let me just talk about my goals. Let's see, my goals for this month, I still wanna put $25 into the gifts sinking fund and $25 into the show sinking fund since I'm saving up for show merchandise because I know in January for sure I'm gonna want something <laughs> from the rent show, rent musical. Um, and then everything extra, that I make is gonna to go to my moving fund again. Last month I was able to put away 788 out of the, I wanna say 1500 to 2000. I at least want 1500 minimum up to $2,000 in the moving fund. So I am um, almost halfway to 15, to my minimum amount, 1500. So everything extra this month will go to the moving fund after the 25 for gifts and 25 for show. And I also, like I said, want to pay off that loan, get rid of it. So I did, as I said, already got paid once since I get paid three times this month. I messed up a long time ago on putting my paydays. So these three days, let's see. I got, there was a check from UUMC and it's actually I think I did my cash stuffing and I said 180, I mean 150, but it's actually 185 right now because we did an extra like rehearsal. So there will be more money going into that cash envelope for groceries and household. Um, even though I was saying 150, it's gonna be a little bit more. Uh, maybe 25 to the household and the rest to the groceries. I have to still get that cashed. And then down here on the 19th will be another church check and I'll wait to fill that in. So my first SCA check was $1,506.04, square that up there. And I went ahead and cashed it on Friday, deposited it into my account, 1,506.04 is what we're starting with. Minus, I got $335 of cash envelopes cash envelopes right there because I did increase the medical from 20 to 25 so 335 is my new base payment and we'll see how that goes so I have a thousand one hundred seventy one dollars and four cents in my account and so that's pretty much it um, my insurance will come out probably a day or two before I get my next check but I'll update you guys around the time my next check comes in and I pay all of those other bills and hopefully I'll be paying off that loan as well. Uh, if you'd like to stick along, I'm just gonna go through my Every Dollar app real quick. And this is what I'm talking about. If I could get screencasting to work well on my computer or a computer, then maybe I could just go strictly over Every Dollar with you. But I have not started the new budget. I've been waiting for you guys. 
So I'm going to create November budget. And so it just took everything from the last month. So we have to erase some things. I'm going to take off these extra incomes of that wedding ring I sold and the extra check for, from another like freelance gig I did. So delete those two. I have my boyfriend category, SCA1, SCA2. I want to put SCA3 in there too. If I could spell. SCA3 because it's a third check month. We'll just let it be at the bottom because it'll go away next month. Um, SCA1. Let's edit this and put in the actual amount of 150604. 150604. And I got that on the second. So we'll go ahead and punch this in 150604 for the second and put SCA since I got paid. Usually I punch it in right away when I get it, but I thought I'd wait for you guys to show you how I set it up. Now SCA2, I think I only estimated about 800. I'm going to say 800 for two and three. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes to tell until I'm like a week away from getting paid. Then I can estimate it a little bit better. And I do update this more times than I talk to you guys about it. I update it like every other day or when I've added things or when I've gotten a new check. I just update it right away so I can see what I need to move around and how much I have left in my budget. Going down, we're not doing emergency fund right now. Car maintenance. Oh, well, that's another thing this month. I do need to put more towards car maintenance and I might be cash flowing. Uh, my AC went out. I might get be cash flowing that. You know what? I'm going to leave 300 there. We'll take the moving fund out for now until we see what kind of extra we have closer to the end of the month. Show fund and gifts fund. We'll leave it 25 and 25 because the car maintenance thing is kind of important because I got $16 left in there now after getting that repair last in October. Rent $850. We'll leave city, electricity, phone, and internet until I get the actual amounts for all of those. Gas was $240 but I took it back down to 90 each paycheck, which is $180. But I forgot, we do have three paychecks. So it would actually be 90, 90, 90. So it will be 270 because I'll get paid three times. So glad I caught that, $270 for gas. Sam's Club can go away, delete. I'm going to have to update all these since I'm going to have three paychecks. Pet care will actually be $60 because it's $20 each time. Clothing is $10 each time, so that will go up to $30 because I'm going to increase it. We'll just I'm just going to put the full amounts until if I have to start cutting, I'll cut later in the month because I already took my full amount for my cash stuffing of 335 because medical went up to 25 a paycheck so it'll be 75 here I am going to put the full amount if I need to cut back money wise over the month it because I'm not making enough or I have too many expenses um, I'll cut this stuff down later but I'll put the full amount to see what I kind of need to try to get with my paychecks personal would be 300 100 a week or not a week a paycheck Blow money will go from 40 to 60. Let's see. I'm going to have to change everything back next month too anyways. Because we'll go back down to two paychecks. Hair will be 60. And household will be 30. 30. And that's just because I do the couch envelopes by every two weeks. It's not necessarily the it's just every single paycheck. So those are changing because, as I said, I'll have three. Health insurance stays at 150 Auto insurance at 105 The loan, that'll change because I made a $750 payment, dollar payment last time. And it's going to be about 330 I can't remember the exact cents. Maybe 80 I think it was like 83 or something. Let's go 85 We'll save that as 33085. I'll look at the exact amount and update it later. Capital 100, Discover 85, Fed Loan 130. 
Oh, and we need to add in, we'll go here to lifestyle and add operation Christmas child. And I'm gonna put in 30 for that right now and that might be adjusted. But there it is. Um, please, as I said, please, please leave me suggestions down below. I will leave the buttons up above to subscribe and to and another video that YouTube will suggest for y'all. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.